In this lecture, we're going to learn about the text to columns feature in Microsoft Excel and do three examples with the function to see how exactly we can use it. So first off, text to columns is here on the data tab. What it does is it takes one column of text and allows you to split it into multiple columns. This can be very, very useful, but just in very specific scenarios. So here's scenario one. We have a bunch of names. Obviously, these people have similar names. Um, and we want to split these names into separate columns. We want basically one name per column. And while all the names have different lengths, they do all have spaces in between them. This is a perfect example to use text to columns. So step one is we simply highlight the data. Step two is of course go to the data tab. And step three is click text to columns. So here we have the text to columns wizard and we have a few options. We have delimited and fixed width. What you need to know is 99% of the time we're going to be using the delimited feature. In this feature we're able to split data at characters such as commas or tabs or some other kind of uh, character of our choosing. So just leave it as delimited, click next, and here this allows us to choose, okay, where do we want to split the text? So here we have a preview of, of what our text will look like when we finish, and we see that nothing has happened. We haven't split anything. So we have spaces in between our text, and we want to split all of these names at the spaces. So here you see you have a space option. Simply click it, and all of a sudden you see in our data preview that everything looks good. So if everything looks good, we can just click finish. So in this example, we were able to split everything quickly using spaces, but what if instead of spaces, we had, say, commas? So quickly, let's run through this. Here, if you highlight your text, and I'm gonna do this with the keyboard. If I hold Shift, Control, and press the down arrow, I can just highlight my block of data. Next, I'll click to text to columns, and again, I have a character that I wanna to use to split the data. Click next, and in this case, it's not space. It is, well, I could use space, but what I really want to do is use the comma because then we will delete the comma. So if I click comma, you see the commas are gone, and we've split the text. Again, everything looks good. Now we can click finish. Okay, let's take a look at our third example. In this example, we have data with sort of weird characters in between them. We have exclamation points. So Here's how we're going to split this data. First, highlight your data, control shift down arrow if you'd like. Next, we'll click text to columns. Of course, the delimited option, next. But here we have an exclamation point. It's not tab, it's not comma, it's not any of this. So in this scenario, we click other, and then you can type in the character that you want. So here in this box, enter an exclamation point. Perfect. Now we can split all of our data at the exclamation points. So now that you've seen these three scenarios, you can imagine that there's many ways to split data. So that's about it for this lecture. Uh, if you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel, of course. And if you're interested, I built a business-focused Excel course that I host on Udemy, and it teaches the 20% of Excel used in 80% of your work. I have a discounted link below, and thanks for watching.